welcome to skincare pitbull edition we posted a video recently alluding to mira's extensive skincare routine and we got a lot of questions about what that is and that's because bully breeds and pit bulls are definitely more prone to allergies than other dogs and mira is no exception to that she is however more mild than a lot of other dogs in her allergies um but we've also taken steps since we first got her to limit certain things that she's eating and kind of just her skincare routine in general to try and limit as much as we can. She used to have a lot of like red bumps on her tummy when she was really little and then adding in some of these components have really helped with that. So first is her bath time routine. So for a bath, we bathe her with soap about every two weeks and that seems to be a really good kind of cycle for her and her skin. And the soap that we use is this OxyMed Hypoallergenic Oatmeal Shampoo. And it tends to work really well. Just make sure you really lather it in there. And we like to use this little grooming brush with it as well. Um, lather that in all over. And then I go in with her paws and I use this little princess brush thingy from Dollar Tree. It was in the baby section. And that's what I use to kind of scrub in her paws. If they're really bad and a little Frito-y, add some iodine in there. And that takes care of it. So that's what we do for her shampoo cycle and then rinse that off of course and we always make sure to follow up with conditioner lately i've been using the burt's bees oatmeal conditioner however i've heard a lot of reports that this one isn't the best or people don't really like this brand for shampoo and conditioner so i bought a different one that's just another sensitive skin oatmeal one that we'll try out but i haven't noticed any issues with the burt's bees one so we're gonna at least use that one up before we move on to this one and we let that conditioner sit for about five minutes Sometimes more because you know she loves to splash around in the bathtub, so depends. And then we rinse that out. <laughs> and then after bath time, I always make sure to follow up with coconut oil kind of all over. This one's just like a basic, I don't know where I got it, Cub hy something like that. Um, just a generic one. I use this in her like treats. <laughs> There's a big yawn that I make as well or when I'm making her actual food. Um, but I just rub this in my hands and then kind of rub it all over her body, her tummy, um, down her legs, and then follow up with her soft bristle brush, which works really well. And then she kind of licks herself the entire night, so <laughs> that's just expect that. Then on her paw pads and her face, and then usually like her lower tummy that's really sensitive, I use this all over relief balm. It's a cocoa butter one from Palmer's. I really do like this. Again, I just take a bit, rub it between my hands, and then rub it on her and kind of massage it in. Um, another one that she loves to lick off herself, but it works well. So that's our bath time routine. And the other big thing that we do for her skincare is after her walks. And so when she goes on a walk, you know, she's getting exposed to a lot of different things outside. So especially in the summertime, not as much in the winter because we have snow right now and I think she's mostly fine. But in the summertime, I try to put something, some kind of clothing on her. So like right now she's wearing a little sweater, which is nice in the winter. She's always wearing something outside. So I try to put something lightweight on her to protect, especially that belly area that really irritates her. And then when we get back inside, I use one of these bad boys, the ones that you just like put their paw in there. And I add a few drops of iodine and then a few drops of her shampoo with some water. And then we just rub that over her paws to kind of get anything that's in there out, right? And then I take a dog wipe. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? And then I take a dog wipe and always wipe off her face as well. She's always smelling things, always in the ground. So I just want to make sure that area kind of gets cleared off as well. And then typically we'll follow up with that same paw and nose balm to make sure she's doing good. And then beyond that, so that those are kind of her main components of her skincare routine. Um, I do add the coconut oil in this balm kind of throughout the week, a few times a week on her, just to kind of make sure that her skin doesn't get too dry, especially in the winter, it's pretty cold right now. The other main component to kind of her allergies, she has both kind of stomach digestive allergies and the skin allergies, so it's really just a high quality food. So for her, we really like this Open Farms raw mix. Um, she does have a chicken allergy, so we don't do anything with chicken, and we've always done fish as the main component of her food. And this one we found is really beneficial both to her tummy <laughs> and her happiness. Um, this is the grain and legume free version. We tried the regular one just because we know there's some debate about that, but her farts were right in sync with that one. So the grain and legume free was much better for her. 
this is the only product in here that's sponsored. We were, however, using this before they even reached out to sponsor us. So we tried a lot of different ones and I promise this is one that we actually use. This bag's empty now <laughs> and we love it. So would recommend and it's not, compared to other kibbles, it's a little bit more expensive, but I wouldn't say it's, you know, exponentially like a lot of those like nicer foods. And then if you want 15% off, just use the code MIR15 and the link's in our bio. So those are the main things that we do for her. A lot of this we have learned from other TikTok accounts like Rain, who I'll add and tag. Um, and yeah, I know a lot of other dogs have much more severe allergies. Luckily, we've been able to manage them. And this has worked really well for us. So if you have any questions or if you have any other suggestions about what you think that we should be doing, we'd love to hear it. Um, and we hope this is helpful for some of you. I know seeing your dog in pain and seeing them suffer and itchy is just really not fun and so finding ways that we can prevent that at home is super important. Say bye!